Hello everybody and welcome back to Typical City. I was only here five minutes ago talking about possible lineups and they included Kyle Walker. Now that may prove to be not the case as he's potentially on his way to Bayern Munich. So five minutes later, I start making a video about Kyle Walker on his way to Bayern Munich and how not to panic. Scrap that, because now City are in for Benjamin Pavard as a potential swap deal going on here, and that is an exclusive through Fabrizio Romano. So the man knows, and hopefully, hopefully that is the case. And the issue I wanted to raise was how not to panic and so many of you City fans are really quick to jump the gun and it worries me that you think, that you are, why even doubt this club? Well how can you doubt Manchester City? Forget Benjamin Pavard, forget that prospect right now. Let's talk about Kyle Walker's exit first of all because I'm not happy about the idea of Kyle Walker leaving. He's been an incredible servant, six years at the club. The speed that that man has, pocketing Vinicius Jr. and, Ka and Kylian Mbappe numerous times. Clearly, the speed is what we're going to miss. And we're talking about moments. But has he seen his arse? Has he heard the Pep Guardiola comments of saying he can't play inside? I will never ask him to play in defensive midfield. And... And then he's seen his arse again when he isn't in the Champions League starting 11 lineup. And we went on to win and we went on to win the treble. So it's hard to argue with Pep's decision at the end of the day. As much as I feel sorry for Kyle Walker because he has been such a great servant for us. Pep knows. Pep knows what he's doing. And you need not panic blues because at the end of the day, City know what they're doing. And we keep most of our business under wraps, behind closed doors. We have often drawn the drawbridge on journalists and agents and people who spread rumours that aren't necessarily always true because it is still an if, if Kyle Walker leaves the club. I mean, is his agent putting the squeeze on City and whispering into the ear of Florian Plettenberg, Sky Sports Germany, and suggesting that a, a, a deal, maybe a deal has been agreed and it is just to get... A, a, a squeeze on City and give them the, imp the the idea to go ahead with the deal and, and panic themselves into offering Kyle Walker a bigger offer and a bigger long-term contract that he might want. That may well be the case. If not, and Kyle Walker goes, then fair dues. But look at the signings that City have made. Akanje is the prime example of why you shouldn't be panicking because did you no, about uh, about um, Akanje. Were you aware of him? How long were the rumours in circulation for when Akanje joined Manchester City? They were a day, maybe two days old, those rumours, before he suddenly is holding up a shirt with number 25 Akanji on the back. Do you know what I mean? So, And what a servant he became. When did Akanji drop below an 8 out of 10? That man is a tank and a Rolls-Royce combined. The way he plays the game, he's a, a, a sublime defender. A, a mathematician genius, which has nothing to do with his football, but certainly added entertainment value to the, to the to the team, but in terms of him actually playing the game, I mean, the guy was a, a figurehead in our defence throughout the whole season. Time after time, he was rarely dropped. Even in the lower league games, he was rarely dropped. So you need not worry and shit the bed about the idea of Kyle Walker going, and if, maybe City might stick the feet in the ground and say, no, we don't want Benjamin Pavard, we want to keep Kyle Walker. So rejected £15 million in your, your add-ons and whatever you want to call it. That has been rejected, my friends. Maybe City go down that road. Because I respect the policy of what City do and, and allowing players to leave. We're not doing that with Bernardo Silva, though, are we? We're sticking our feet in the ground with Bernardo Silva. And that's because contracts aren't written on bog roll. They are binding, and rightly so. And he is our player and contracted for the next two years until we say so, Okay. And we have to accept that, so you need not panic. And if we do allow him to leave, do you think we're not planned for that? Do you think these these men in the boardroom, Cheeky Bergenstein, Ferran Seriano and Pep Guardiola, they're not liaising with one another and discussing the potential replacement so quick, in fact, that it's already been rumoured that Pavard is the potential replacement. Now, the, the difference in swapping Pavard for Walker is the speed. Um, Pavard's not slow, mind you. He is not a slow player. He's 27 years old, so he's got age on his side compared to Walker. 
the technical ability of this guy, some of the goals that he can score, one in a couple in a French shirt and a couple in a Bayern Munich shirt that spring to mind, some of these volleys and outside of the boot, whipping it into the top corner and, and he can head the ball as well. He's a big lad, he can play centre-back, which is key to what we may potentially need next season with three at the back. It may be the case that he has got that ability to play as the right side of a three at the back. Along and maybe Guardiola and Diaz in the middle. That sounds not bad. Not bad at all. And if it comes to the time when we need to play four at the back, Guardiola can play left back, Pavard can play right back, and you've got Ake and Akanji and John Stones. So why are you panicking? If you add Pavard to it, I am not panicking. I, I do think there is a speed issue there. We suddenly become a look a little bit slower at the back, a little bit more susceptible, but you're talking about minuscule moments over the grand scheme of a season. You're talking about, oh God, he can't defend against Kylian Mbappe. Who the fuck can? Vinicius Junior, who can? Do you know what I mean? Don't panic just because it's Kyle Walker and his speed. As good as it is to watch him pocket Vinicius Junior and then Kylian Mbappe, I love to see it. Which City fan doesn't? I get that. But at the end of the day, it's not the be-all and end-all for the whole season. There are numerous times when we have needed a technical player in that position. And Kyle Walker is not as technical as João Cancelo or Benjamin Pavard or even John Stones. He played right back last season. Akanji played right back last season. So it isn't the time to panic as far as I'm concerned. I am excited about the prospect of Benjamin Pavard. I do think... It is that speed. It is just the speed. But City fans, you, we really need to calm it down a little bit because some of the, the stuff in circulation on social media, uh, on, on YouTube as well, and some, some of the stuff I'm seeing on YouTube as well is a bit overly worrisome in terms of like, you, you should have recognised by now, guys, come on, that this club know what they are doing. And time after time, and I'll go back to it again, the Akanji signing was out of nowhere. And what a signing he proved to be. An absolute figurehead in this City squad. And I guarantee you, there will be another signing, a sneaky signing that we have not been privy to any rumours, we haven't been aware of any sort of suggestions that we may be in for a certain type of player, then out of nowhere we'll wake up one morning and City are in for this unknown player and we'll go, okay, a bit unknown, and we'll end up getting him on the cheap, probably knowing City the way these guys are coy, savvy, businessmen, and no doubt he'll go on to be a world-class player for us and Pep Guardiola will mould another bargain into a potential world-class player again. And he'll do it again and he'll prove all the doubters and all the haters wrong again. And it's, it's just the level of consistency that has come out of the boardroom from Cheeky. And, and it's bared fruit on the football pitch with trophy after trophy and amazing performances from such a high level of recruiting that you need not worry about the idea of Kyle Walker going. And there is so long to go in this transfer window. So... Don't panic, Blues. But I would love to hear your thoughts on Benjamin Pavard. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Kyle Walker. Do you see that as an ideal replacement? Do you see him like for like? Not really. Same position in a sense, but in terms of player for player and attribute for attribute, not quite a like for like. But how do you guys feel about the prospect of a swap deal between Benjamin Pavard and Kyle Walker? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Typical City is the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Typical City now.